we have the potatoes well mashed. Pay attention to all this because this is the hard part. This is where you kind of just have to feel the dough and to get it right. We're going to put in a little bit of salt. Not a lot, I would say roughly about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, just, just enough for flavor. All right. Now, in terms of flour, I know we're going to need probably at least one cup. So we're going to start off with just a cup. Now, now we're going to have to use our hands. So let's start off with a cup. Now you actually have to use your hands to make this. And this is pretty much by feel when it comes out to the right thing. And we haven't added the yeast yet. This is pretty much peasant food that's outrageously delicious. And every time we make this, all the kids and everybody, this is the first thing that gets eaten. Fresh off the stove, and you're going to find the most Italian families. Um, our recipes are pretty similar, and we have kind of similar taste. And everybody that tastes it certainly becomes Italian overnight. Everybody loves it. All right, so it's going to be... Now, I've never measured before, so this is a first for me measuring anything. So we're going to start off with our second cup. Just add it as needed. It's going to be like a dough, but remember now we still have to add the yeast, so there's going to be more moisture. I would say use, those, use two cups. Now, now this is getting a little dry, so we're going to start with our yeast. This is very important. The yeast is ready. It's been sitting for about 10 minutes. Marky's going to give you a nice shot of this. You can see it that it's nice and bubbly and it's alive. I probably put too much water, but we won't use it all. At this point, we start pouring it in. Not too much, and just work it in. This is when it gets pretty much labor intensified, but it works. Okay, add a little bit more. So we're creating a dough that's going to look like a bread dough and it's going to rise for close to an hour before we start frying it. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So basically, I poured this much liquid. It's not that much. I would say maybe three ounces, four ounces or whatever with the yeast. Clean it out with your fingers. Don't be shy. You're going to have to just work the dough, work the yeast. For how long? This, you're going to have to work for about 10 minutes at the most, around 10 minutes. So you see the dough is a little soft, so now I'm going to have to add more flour. So, for our two cups, just keep adding as needed. The dough has to be a little hard, but not real, real hard, because this is going to rise, just like bread. So again, work it. Good exercise, by the way. You don't have to go to the gym, just cook. Go ahead. Okay. So at this point in time, we've been kneading the dough. That also activates the yeast and does whatever it's supposed to do. So you can see it looks pretty much like a bread dough. So I make it like nice and round, like bread. Not okay. Go ahead. Tell me it like the round and what okay. you said before. It doesn't matter if it's round or whatever. But anyways, we created a nice, it looks, it looks like a nice loaf of bread at this point. So put it in your pan. Got to be in a family, a family fairly warm area. What I do, put a paper towel over it just so it maintains heat. Keep it on your countertop. This is going to rise for probably close to an hour. And at that point, you must start frying because otherwise they just get, uh, they start absorbing the oil. Okay. <laughs> of George. <laughs> this is our, ready? Hello, hello. <laughs> this is my family. I don't know if you guys can focus. These are the teeth. They've been sitting here. It looks like a nice loaf of bread. You can feel them. It's nice. They, they've been rising for probably about a half an hour to 45 minutes. So at this point, we're ready to fry them up. We're okay. going to put some olive oil. Don't be shy. You're going to use a lot. So might as well do it ahead of time. Roughly, I would say probably about a quarter cup, maybe a little bit more. Rocco. Rocco. Okay. Action. 
Ready? Okay. I'll load it. Now we're ready for the frying process. The, the oil is heating up. You don't want to get it too, too hot, and you certainly want to get it hot enough. Now, this is the hard part. You're going to be frying. So I always take a little bit of olive oil. I use lots of paper plates because it's much easier. Thanks. Get your hands with a little olive oil so we can work the dough. Now, ready? This is unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Now we're in this guy. Look at this. Perfect. Don't get the back of my head. <laughs> Be quiet. Not go crazy. Okay, these. Roll them up. You can make any kind of shape you want. Okay, I stop. Like stop one sec. Just doing a focus check. Okay. No, I don't care. Okay, I mean, he doesn't care about any of this technical no, stuff. He just wants to cook. Yeah, we're good. Like I'm gonna be looking at my back. I'm telling you what I'm doing. Ready? Okay, fine. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Now we're gonna start putting them in. Okay. So now, speed is kind of essential. You have to kind of. You don't want to overcrowd the pan at all. The dough is absolutely perfect. And they take a while to cook. You want this to be nice and cooked. Now, most countries have some sort of a version from, um, I don't know, what the, the, with potatoes. Everybody cooks some sort of potatoes. Like a latke. Yeah, a latke. Like a latke. Well, a latke. And then, I don't know, what else? Knishes. Yeah, Those are knishes. So you can see the dough. The dough's perfect. <laughs> it doesn't stick. It's perfect. You need a little oil in your either, hands. Either this video's gonna be really good or it's really gonna suck. <laughs> should be good. I mean, this is good stuff. Can't redo it here. This is we're in live action. That's we're the best part. Hold on, let me let me redo a focus here. Okay, look at this. Out of four potatoes, look at the Just be quiet for one second. Okay, go ahead. Oh really? It's only four potatoes. That's all. I'm sure. You shave the potatoes? I shave them, I mean. No. I cut the shred them? No. <laughs> You have to mash. It's like mashed potatoes. Um, Russet potatoes? Anything. I, I've never... I don't know if it makes a difference, to be honest with you. <laughs> They're different. Oh. Okay. You see, if it gets a little sticky, you got to put a little olive on the hands. Rocky, I want you to see this frame. Get back right. I'll pull stuff. All right. I'll wipe my hands a little bit. Now, at this point in time... Don't stop talking. You don't know what stop means, do you? <laughs> okay. Okay. So okay, just talk about this for, yeah, um, well, go ahead. I have to just move them around a little bit to make sure they fry up nice and slow. You don't want the heat too, too high because they have to cook thoroughly. This is important to get them really nice golden brown. Then when we take them out, you can sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top that's delicious or you just eat them the way they are. Okay, okay so watch we turn the heat down a little bit, just a little bit, so they're frying but not burning. This is the hot look, look, look how perfect they are. Wow. Absolutely nice. perfect. Nice. If you let them rise another 10 minutes, one second, one second. Just oh, they they're gone. gone. They, them, they absorb the oil. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm told you, I've been throwing out so many. Okay. I have it down to a science now. Okay. That's why it's a hard thing to make. Yeah. They're not easy. Are you taking notes, Miss Mary? This lady cannot cook. And I thought of you, Bob, <laughs> cannot when I made the cookies. How I emphasize that the last three minutes you gotta stand there and watch your cookies. Oh. Because they burn. You always do that extra minute. I've told him a million burns times. That's burns. Because he doesn't. The, the last few minutes are the most important. Critical. You gotta watch and pull them out. If anything, it's easier to put them back in for a minute. You make delicious cookies and then burns them at the end. It burns them off. The last it's few minutes are the most important. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. That's why I said the last few minutes are the most important. You Save the cookies. Them. I call it a tragedy. It's just great. We have a cookie show and you blow your nose from the lens. <laughs> It's beautiful. That's cool. This is I, uncut, I'm uncut, unedited. Yeah, unedited, yeah. I'm ready to. Gold. I will pay right good now. money for this video that you have. <laughs> <in the camera. laughs> pay good money for that. Well, we can wash it a little bit. Oh, so, uh, could we? I yeah. Really like yeah, that. Look how beautiful they are. Nice. But these are so it's hard nice. to make. I know. They're all labor intensive. Again, it costs nothing. You know, it's another one. The Russians do pierogi. Yes. I don't like it. I don't know. They're too There's a store in Framingham. They're soggy. They're just, we're not used to those tastes. Yeah, this is I like. Know. I like some of that stuff. Slavic, actually. no offense. It's, Slavic it's, it's a different. Uh, it's what a do different, they have? Potatoes and peas. Different culture. Nothing even grows there. It's I a mean, food garbage. 
Italian. No, no, no but it's all. I haven't been food. to your guys' place either. No, well, there it's good food, but it's a different culture, you know. It's not culture. There, nothing grows there. What culture? They don't have the pro Rocky. You're gonna start filming now. I've been Hopefully. filming the whole okay. time. <laughs> all right. Now we're gonna turn them over. Okay. Wow. Oh. It's okay if they're a little overcooked because they're the more you cook them, they're overcooked at all. No, they're per no, pretty no, perfect they're actually. Yeah. All right. I don't want to admit I usually. I mean, you do it just this right. This isn't your first rodeo. No. That that one, I want that one. You can't have that one. That's fine. <laughs> Brian's already called You're him. very territorial. Leave with the pizza. Yeah, I already, no. I already called out the slice you wanted. Okay. Yeah, he's just telling you. So that, that, that cookie. I'm just saying he knows what he's doing. So right for now. all the Italians <laughs> watching this, this video, zone. does this remind you a little bit of home? Is this what your grandmother made every Sunday? I mean... Look at them. Fantastic. They're beautiful. Yeah, Aren't they? they're gorgeous. They're really gorgeous. Close in on those would be glorious. You could put sardines in there. You could put Ooh, I would do that. And Charles loves so anchovies. Oh, that's what Mama Rosa used to do. Because these can go, they can go dessert or... They call or, whatever. They're, that's a whole yeah, dish they, they do, do on the holidays. Thing, yeah. But you do that on the holidays. Dessert we talked about appetite. this. For What's so special about the zippoli is that you could go either direction. You, you can make... For dessert, you put some powdered sugar right, on top. Yes. You, you can't go start, New you Orleans go style. <laughs> like fried mashed potatoes. Dip it in your coffee for well, God's sake. You get anything. This tastes good. Anything. Yeah. Potato and sugar, delicious. Hey. Delicious. These taste good regardless of what you how you eat. You have a recipe for that? No. That's why I'm well, talking. <laughs> we do now. <laughs> we do now. We do now. We do now. We do exactly what we It takes a two cups of flour. I've never measured. That's why, how do I know how to make them? Everybody said, da, 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 da. I'm sure there's recipes for them. Oh, the what are the recipes in Calabrian Sicily? No, nah, they always say a little handful of uh, this. They, they, they handful this of kind that. of stuff. They Pe don't measure. Peasant food, right? It's peasant food. They don't measure anything. What recipes do you have for your mother? No, I, the the peasants I'm just forward. saying the ingredients. Oh, well, the ingredients, of course. Potatoes. You eyeball it, right? Yeah, yeah. but this time I measure. But back then they didn't. No, what are you using? This is the first time. No, I mean nothing. That, that you put no. um, the, the eggs, you call them? You call There's them no eggs. No, no, no. What do you call those? Uh, you ballpark it. Uh, Maria, what how do you many call people those? you got? How much dough? Yeah, you boil those. Uh, what do you like do you oranges do? or. Arancini. Arancini. Oh, I love them. Oh, oh, yes. I love those. We're not those making arancini. arancini. Those you know who made arancini? Aunt Joanne made the best arancini. She made the best in the world. Because she's a son. That's a Sicilian dish. She knew, yeah, she knew how to make that. Arancini. That's a color braze. Does anyone know how to make them like her? No. No, no one does. No. So you see why? you should Well, my family's so brilliant. I know. So, Lord of all. Ready, Margie? What are we doing? Take it out. Sure. They have the first batch. Any oil on there at all? Okay, ready? All right. The first batch of Cipoli is ready. They're golden brown, cooked to perfection. I, there's very little residue of olive oil. And we'll get ready for the next batch. So even out of four potatoes, it feeds probably about six to eight people. Wow. As an appetizer, not your entree, obviously. And voila. Bon appetito. Questa qui. Sono le cipolle. This is our southern Italian, Calabrese, Sicilia, Bucese. This is our heritage. This, this is, is our, our heritage. This is our you weakness. You can smell them. They smell like they heaven. Smell good. And you can't buy these. You can't buy them anywhere. No. Anyway. There's no restaurants. Listen, it's not that restaurant. Seriously. Go. Listen, oh. There's going to be some way to land the video. Who's going to take the first bite? Should it be me? Well, they're hot. Oh, let them sit. Let them sit. I claim this one. I'm trying to land the video. Burn you. But I actually have a high tolerance for hot things. Oh, you do? Okay. I'll give it a minute. <laughs> no, because they settle in and they just kind of I'm like, learning so much about you. I'm 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 worried also about the video. She can sit on that barbecue, no problem. It's a little hot. <laughs> just the tolerance. I'm gonna prove it. Like, oh. Yeah, let's try oh. to be cool. Oh, jeez. But you see, it's all labor. Labor intensive. Oh well, huh? yeah, totally. Because you're frying for hours. <laughs> we didn't see how you made the um, perfection. How do you go? Dough. No, I well, you will in the video. Did he get that earlier? It's only nineteen ninety five a month for the video. Don't worry. <laughs> I told you I had high tolerance. I'm telling you. I you know why? <laughs> Don't be you surprised. Know. All you have to do. It's too hot for you. 
You have to send this You're video. Sensitive. We should you test have, her tolerance. You have to call all your friends, <laughs> especially Italian friends. They're really and delicious. Boiling oil. Take they're a sip. Right. I job. told you I'm the only one that knows how to make this. Oh, you're right. Nobody. I made it better than Uncle Frank than anybody. They've ever been to love them. I don't really know. Nobody makes this. I'm the different. last one to know how to you make know? them. It's not your normal potato. No. It's a oh, trust me. They're right. The Polish people try to make them too. You need a good sauce. They're not. Yeah. No, nice little. They don't taste like this. This is Holidays a real secret. Aren't they good? Or no. Chick fil A sauce. I mean, these are the taste. Of, these are yeah. the oh. These are the taste. mango sauce on here. You could do that. Yeah, but don't awesome. crazy. do that. You know what? You, know what, you could do tell anything you. with me. But let yeah. me tell you something. You know what the re the reality is? It's always the basic recipe is always the best. I know. With anything, I hate that when they bury things. You know, it's already For sure. Good. Okay, say goodbye, sure. George. What? Say goodbye. Goodbye. Listen. <laughs> so we had the idea to add Nutella, <laughs> and it's ridiculously good. We met this guy with eighteen hundred units he has. I'm in. I think he's overdoing all the here. Father. Hold it. Let me get a call. Let me get a call. Stop. One second. One second. One second. Okay. Ocean City. Yeah. Yeah. You know that right next to where the. Um, what do you feel right now? Say a word. Yeah, we used to go because it's part of the uh, the pines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the huge. Orgasmic. This is the oh, video. Oh, this is on video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like a million. Emily. Oh my god. Oh my god. So drop that. Yeah, that you is so good. The family you step away from the. That's, that's indulgent. That is Uncle George, you have to try that. That's indulgent. What? Here, yeah, but put them out first. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, with the drop? It's like.